As you always trying to make it number one, it's a must. This ain't changing me, I still have the same beliefs. I can scream free pallet. What rapper Mike Righteous was actually trying to say was free Palestine. But Palestine, it seems, is now a dirty word on the BBC. I can scream free Palestine. The BBC has defended the decision to censor the word which it says was on the basis that implying that Palestine is not free is contentious. I think just in that one sentence the BBC showed its complete disdain for Palestine, for the Palestinians, for their suffering. And it also showed its utter disregard for international law when international law is being violated by Israel because clearly Palestine isn't free, it is under occupation, the UN recognises that. UN Resolution 242 calls for the withdrawal of Israel from Gaza and the West Bank. And, you know, saying free Palestine is just basically shorthand for that same UN demand. And while it has admitted its staff may have been overcautious in their actions, it insists they were not biased. What this Mike Righteous case shows, more than anything else, is a very, very urgent need for there to be an independent adjudicator which holds the BBC to account, which monitors its output, because I think what this has shown is that the BBC isn't capable of doing that. It will never ever admit it's wrong, even in a case as blatant as this. In 2009, the BBC sparked outrage with its refusal to air a British charity appeal by the National Disasters Emergency Committee during Israel's attack on Gaza. People will die because of the BBC decision. Let me be clear about that. While people can complain, their complaints will be heard by the BBC Trust, unlike all other UK broadcasters who have to answer to the British media regulator, Ofcom. And so the British Broadcasting Corporation is funded by the UK taxpayer, but is accountable only to itself. Hassan Ghani, Press TV, London.